Okay, so we're going to do a recap of what we learned today, uh, what we talked about in theory, what we showed in actual practical application, and then a recap. Uh, real key, everything that was in the PowerPoint is in the uh, process, contents restoration workbook that will come with your equipment. And it will walk you through items such as your pH scale, your categories of contents, which is going to be really important, and the different things that you can control, like the power, the chemistry, the time, the temperature. And really the key to this book is going to be your pages 9 and 10, because on those pages it talks about how much chemistry you need, how much to add, how to mechanically check for the chemistry, and then when to test the pH, which is after all of the mechanical things are done. And then what's great about it is it'll give you all the recipes for all your different pro processes, your different delicates, your electrical items, your general contents, your plastics, your tooling, uh, your wicker baskets, stuffed animals, all of that's contained in a very simple format with a before and after picture and then a recipe that will spell out which chemistry to use, what, how much as a guideline, and then the actual action steps. And then just to recap what the equipment is, you're going to have an unpacking table and a color tagging kit so that you can keep track of what, what items come out of, a box, out of a box into baskets. You'll have a short roller conveyor so that you can preload so that the packing, unpacking person can help assist in the repacking area when they get ahead of, this, when they get ahead of uh, the game. You'll have your pre-wash, which is what we're using for emulsification, pre-soaking, and also for doing some of the bigger, higher-end delicates. Our ultrasonic wash, which is generally a very short period of time with a strong burst of energy. A rinsing sink of some sort. A conveyor to feed your tunnel dryer. You'll need an air compressor uh, with a very handy-to-reach compressed air nozzle. And your final piece is a tunnel dryer. And then the last step is a, is a repacking table. So that would be the full system. A way to get into the system a little quicker, if uh, space or budget's a limitation, the two most critical components are your ultrasonic machine and then some type of a rinse sink. It could be even be a restaurant-style two- or three-bay sink. Those are, those are really the two most necessary pieces. Then you add the pre-wash as you grow or you have more space and then your tunnel dryer as you have even more space to uh, expand upon that. But having just the ultrasonics in the sink at least gets you into the contents arena. It allows you to bring clients in, adjusters in, and show them that you have the, the uh, ability to do a professional cleaning job for them.